Hi folks and welcome back another Baseball 9 video. Um, this one will be a little shorter. I know I've seen a lot of comments lately asking about contact versus power and if your contact attribute uh, has any effect when you're in the different modes, power, bunting, um, etc. So I know I did a previous video talking about um, contact mode and how that changes based on the player's contact. So we're saying that if your player has a pretty low contact, that circle right there in the middle is going to be a lot smaller. It's going to be harder to make contact, hit the ball. But if it's a higher contact we see here, um, it's obviously going to be easier. But what happens when we switch to power? Um, the short answer is from everything I've seen, and correct me if I'm wrong out there, when you switch to power, that circle in the middle, the red circle, stays the same regardless of your contact rating. So we'll test this out. Mookie Bats, right? You see on the left, 65 contact in the purple. And if I switch to power, that's going to be the size of the power circle. So 65 overall, that was the size um, compared to his normal and his power. So now Gronk, 83 contact we can see up there. And his contact circle is a lot bigger. So this is obviously almost over the entire plate. But we go to power and that red power circle is the same. So kind of just a quick explainer video. Um, it looks like right for my test my gameplay that it doesn't change the power uh, we see your 75 contact once again the red circle is consistent um, it's the same throughout and hey we get a nice home run off of that 405 feet while doing a demonstration always exciting to see um, but yeah so that's kind of the impact that power has on contact 103 power 70 contact kobe same thing and please note this also doesn't work the other way around um, or as i should say it does work the other way around so your power does have an impact even in contact mode you see, if you were to try to swing the ball, you know, a hundred times with a higher power, you'll end up having more just natural home runs. So off of power, uh, sometimes you can hit a home run off of power, uh, not in the power mode, on contact mode without power. But you'll be able to hit balls further, more chances of home runs. Um, power just, it gets you to be a little bit more focused. So... I think it gives you a small boost to your power when you're in power mode, but also what it does is it really makes you focus in on getting, contacting the ball exactly on the dot, which is how you get maximum power, because if you're a little bit off, it's not going to go as far or as accurate as you want it to be. So we see here 103 power, Kobe, not able to get some good contact on there, but yes, power affects right, your power level. Um, has an impact regardless of what batting mode you're in, maybe except for bunting. Um, I'm not sure if it makes your bunt go further, but also we see bunting with contact. Once again, talking about that circle um, bunting, it removes that circle completely, so I don't think it comes into play with bunts. They're relatively specialized and a little bit more different than the others, but we see here again, 77 contact, 94 power, which is a pretty high power rating. Um, when he hits the ball, it's going to go a little bit further um, with the power. So that was just a quick explainer. Um, I know from the videos uh, a lot of you really like doing the um, attribute comparisons or player comparisons so I'm gonna keep on trying to put those together uh, let me know any other attributes you want to see uh, I'm gonna try and work on a pitching one where I go over all the different types of pitches and how to kind of evaluate them and tips and tricks on how to hit them but for now today we're just talking about power contact um, if you have any questions about that, leave it down below in the comments. I'll be sure to address them. Um, but we're just going to, last thing before we finish off this video, I'm going to go into the settings 
and take a look at the descriptions for power and contact and if we can find anything out there. But hey, just to put some gameplay in, we're going to finish out this inning. Feel free to skip ahead if you uh, just want to get straight to the content. But we're on a roll, so I'm thinking might as well try to get some home runs. Try to extend this lead here. Um, it's not a gameplay Sunday, but we're going to try to put in some gameplay anyways. Love to sneak in some extra gameplay footage for you. See if we can uh, get ourselves a home run. We're not, but we have a nice rally going on. 105 speed. Ooh, he's not able to make it home. So Mookie Betts gets thrown out. Not fast enough. But we're going to pause this real quick. Leave the game and take a look at these stats. So this is a good way, if you guys haven't seen already, to read through the attributes and different various other settings in the game to get a better sense of what's what. But here we see batter attributes. We're going to take a look at power. Uh, where did that go? Yeah, power. Second one, ability to hit the bar far away for extra bases. Contact, batting accuracy, and the size of the batting cursor. So it seems like accuracy doesn't change when you go into the power hitting mode. That red circle is always going to be the same. Whereas on contact mode, that will change power what you have is what you have. It won't change. It'll be consistent throughout. So, very quick video today. Uh, if you thought this was useful, give it a like. If you're not subscribed to the channel, consider doing so to uh, see all the future releases, gameplay footage, um, tips and tricks videos, guys, walkthroughs, all that good stuff. Uh, welcome to the channel, first time viewers. But that's all I have for you today on this video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.